I work with the in the cemetery mm -hmm. to bury the people, wash the people when they die and all that. And you saw bones of giants? I saw um, this le leg is here. Like that leg, that size? Yeah. I took his mouth, his teeth, is still strong, and I put it like this. In my Just to head. understand, their family living for 1400 years in the Mount Olive, which is a cemetery in the old city of Jerusalem. We have it, we have it on Mount of Olives. You saw graves of giants. Yeah. With... <music> Ibrahim Ahmad Hassan Muhammad Al Hussein Abu Al Hawaii. Yeah. How am I? How are you? My name is only Ariel, Ariel the Lion. <laughs> How are you? Good. I heard that your grandfather is was 134 years old when he had an article on National Geographic. Yes. Is it right? It's a gift from God. How would you describe for a young person that come to your tent for the first time about Sufism? We are all one. Mm -hmm. And we are here from one seed. We are the seed of Sayyidina Ibrahim, our Holy Father, Abraham Avino. We are all one. You told me before that you have a very special welcome center in uh, near here, near the old city, that people from Sufi people from all over the world come to, to you for 150 years, to your family, you host them, you prepare them to go up and see the old city. I have many times a letter you are the same Ibrahim we've been with you in, in the 80. We hear about Ibrahim on Mount of Olives. Really, is, is something built with me, ah. grown with me. I, I grow on a holy mountain called Mount of Olives. I don't make friends. I make family. Mm. We called in the Islamic, where you go, you must build a mosque. How? I will never ever think I will put my foot in an airplane. Mm. If it a gypsy a man, how <laughs> I, I escaped from the sky, I don't know how to swim, how I'm going to be, and how I'm going to build a mosque in the, the Sufi. It's... It's interesting, you know, to, to understand the difference between Islam and Sufism. Can yeah. you put some clarity in this? I've been asked my father, how am I going to build a mosque everywhere I go? <laughs> he told me, the job, what are you doing? The job? What I am doing, Yeah. we have, we have animals, okay. we have cows, uh -huh. we have donkey. Uh -huh. We have uh, all kinds of animals. Uh -huh. I don't make friends a lot. I've been finished school. Always I have white donkey. And with my sickness to bother the people, come ride on a donkey. Ah. I put them on a donkey. Yeah. Do you like to come to see Arab home? I took them home, yeah. give them a spoon of rice, uh -huh. cup of tea, and some time to sleep. As I, as my father told me, this is the mosque. Those people will be the mosque to welcome you in their homes. Mm, so you're saying that the mosque is inside. Yeah. You have 150 years old home that is welcoming people from all over the world that come to see the old city. Many of them are coming with what she says. Uh, without shoes, with heavy Jerusalem syndrome. What is the most funny story you have about a Jerusalem syndrome guest you had? 
First, I ask everyone, I think the same question. I really like to know the email or the fax or the telephone number of God. Of God? <laughs> That's what they want to know. That's what I you want ask. to know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what I want to know. Because they talk to him and he told them when he returned back. Yeah. But when the time, give it to me. I want, I want to know him, too. <laughs> I want to repair some food for him. <laughs> to welcome him. Make him <sighs> tea, coffee, ask him what he likes to drink with sugar, without sugar. In the year 2000, yeah. someone been in my home. And he so made himself so rich. And he started giving check, 5,000, 10,000 for, but he gave it on the 15th of June, of... Special the, date. January. 15th of January. Because he know Jesus will return back and we are all dying. <laughs> I took him to the airport <laughs> on... 31st on the 31st when all his checks on the 15th in January of, De of December yeah because he will see it the will, month of it, they say yeah. will spill it on two pieces oh okay and we are all dying yeah part of it go to Gethsemane part of it go to Bethany okay one to heaven one to heaven and no one reach the money changer <laughs> No one exchanged the money. <laughs> there. So let's talk about your family origin. Your family, you says that they are here in Mount Olive for 1400 years. That's literally the time since Islam introduced to the Middle East. Yeah. Since then you guys are here. What happened when a Jewish guy come here and tell you I'm from Russia, then Bulgaria, then Spain, then Morocco, then went to Argentina a few generations, then came back here, down over here a little bit, went over there, and then he asked you, where are you from? You're like, here. So most of the people that came here in the past 70 years to Israel are refugees. Refugees from Holocaust, from Europe, refugees from Morocco, refugees from Russia, refugees from Ethiopia. They all came here. Mil billions of evangelicals thinking that it's do it. What you, what you think? What's your take on that? On that situation? I've been 28 times in America. Okay. And I met many uh, Red Indian Americans. Uh -huh. They never pay tax. They never pay tax they, there till when they have a job in the government. And then they pay tax. And you work for Bezik for 30 years. Yeah. And then you pay tax? I pay tax. Because you work for Bezik. Monthly. You had a near-death experience. That's how we call for uh, a state of coma. Which means you've been between here and the other world. Yeah. The area where Paros were really working hard in the pyramids to get to. How was it? I woke up. You woke up after eight days. And Russian guy. That's the first thing you've seen, a good Russian guy. Yeah. After eight days of being in a coma. Yeah, he told me, God is not welcome you yet. Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well. Really? Look, you know, it's not My that bad. My son came to pick me up. I have here a few hundred telephone number. You remember a few hundred telephone numbers? Yeah, it's written inside. Okay. In the box. Who you met during these eight days in a coma? Uh, many from the family. Many, many people from the family, from 1400 years of being here in the old no, city? No, from uh, someone died 50 years ago. You remember someone, you met him? I talked to him. Mm -hmm. My children didn't know him. Mm -hmm. Someone, uh, maybe seven years ago, I talked to him. Mm -hmm. Sheik. So they. Huh? Abdulaziz Bukhari? Yeah. He died at the Aqsa Mosque. 
mm-hmm. and they talk to him. Many people that been in a state of coma, a test of they've seen a white corridor with some type of white haze and like kind of like being in a cloud type of experience. No, I, I saw myself in Ethiopia and in, in Africa. In Ethiopia, and in the desert. Three, three big horses uh, guide me uh-huh. to like a place where they wash the cars. Uh-huh. With the horse, they wash me with this, this fog and clean my body. Wow. Yeah. I I say to the mayor of the city. You're the mayor of the city. I don't know. I'm in Africa. So you've been really in a coma, rolling between dreams to dreams, telling everybody that you are the mayor of the city. I'm not. I'm the small guy. When you say sickness, can you explain exactly what do you mean? Hey. Um, I grew in a beautiful home with beautiful parents, with very beautiful children. For that, I'm so rich. I'm very rich. But uh, I have a letter like two months ago from the municipality. I own the 165,000. And they sent me a beautiful letter but make me a little bit nervous. You pay 165 or to go three years to prison. Yeah, what you I do? like to go to you prison. You like it, they feed you, you but meet I new need, people. But I need the doctor. When Sufism started? I think they start in Algier. In Algier? Yeah. They say they have Holy grip yard mm-hmm. for them, and they, they cannot open it, and they grab like seven meter, eight meter, people being so big or mm. long, so big size, yeah. Big size people, yeah. like giants. We saw men, men, they are really men. Where they are? Where are they gone? I mean, now it's the time of the woman. I look where those men gone. Mm-hmm. Where the size of that man? Ah, you're gone. talking about giants. Yeah. So you says that when Sufi started, there were people that were like five, four, six, seven meter high, big <laughs> giants with six Sorry, fingers. You don't scare with me. six fingers. I work. I work with the in the cemetery uh-huh. to borrow the people, watch the people when they die and all that. And you saw bones of giants? I saw um, this le- leg is here. Like that leg, that size? Yeah. I took his mouth, his teeth, is still strong, and I put it like this. In my Just head. to understand, their family living for 1400 years in the Mount Olive, which is a cemetery in the old city of Jerusalem. We have, we have it on Mount of Olives. You saw graves of giants yeah. with, you know, a foot we are size of our open. leg. Huh? Every three years, we are allowed, two or three years, we are allowed to open and put the Every two, three years, you're allowed to open it and put the, the fathers and the son. The cousin, and uncles, yeah. Every hole, we, have, we, we don't need land mm-hmm. for the cemetery. So why do you think today in the world, in the archaeology, in history, there is a, a movement that try to, to hide the idea and the fact, as you say, that there were giants recently? You're talking about a few hundred years ago. Not. We don't know. We don't know. And do you think... Overseas. Do you think that giants still exist? Those days, who know? Who know? I cannot tell. But really, they've been different people than today. Today, 
most of the building you see we have stone is like tiles very weak until before the stone being stone hundred yeah. kilo yeah they also the they also the way that they built it was big stones no uh, uh concrete between them no nothing to stack the stone they were just cut so perfectly yeah. so the other stone fit perfectly on it they put glue today yeah they don't need glue because it was just sit by the yeah. head by weight of it but, uh, in sufism in islam they talk about giants yes they talk about giants yes. in islam where in many subjects in the Quran, mm -hmm. written about it, how they build all those mosques. Ah, they all, talk about it. Yeah, they how they built all those mosques. They are where they are. <laughs> where they are, really. You think that they still hear the giants, or we they go are to, gone? <laughs> to Abraham, Avinu, to the mosque in Hebron. You look those stone. <laughs> Did they have machines those days? How they carry all those and build it one on another? So we have here from first hand a person that attest of giant bones in the Mount of Olives. His family lived there for 1400 years. Every three, four years they are allowed to open graves to add more bones and he's saw he's seen bones. Like a foot the size of that. I can only imagine how much sage you drink <laughs> on the Mount of Olives along the years. Yeah. <laughs> can you count it in uh, like Tank. tanks of, of sage? Yeah. 